which other moment you would give that you think is significant that may indicate a direction in the future for the year 2023 for China and for the rest of the world? Mr. Fahmi, Fahmi let me start with you. Sure, let me answer quickly. Uh, indications of Chinese wisdom were what struck me most. And I saw that when there was a lot of talk about possibly using weapons of mass destruction in Ukraine. And even though there was tension between the Americans and the Chinese, when Biden met the Chinese president, part of the statement was that nuclear weapons should never be used and a war should never be started. And that also came up with the, with the German uh, prime uh, chancellor as well. That was one thing, an indication of we will compete, we will have problems, but in national, international relations, you have to be statesmanlike and wise. The same reflection happened in the Arab-Chinese summit. The, as I mentioned earlier, the talk about shared interests, mutual benefit, greater understanding. It wasn't, as the professor said, a zero-sum uh, uh, outlook. We're talking about mutual interest. And I would throw in one last point, mm -hmm. building on that vision and wisdom, I would urge the Chinese to enunciate even further what kind of world order they envisage we should be working on in the future. And it's because of that, that even though I'm not an expert on uh, Chinese Australia, I again found the debate, the discussion between Australia and China and China interesting because it indicated an understanding that if you want to talk about peace, you talk about peace and cooperation, first of all, with your neighbors or your proximity. 